Good day everyone, my name is Paul Tilly, and I'm going to be your instructor for this course, Finance FM 1140. Now, so you're wondering what exactly is Finance 1140? Well, if you're in the business program, one of the things that you'll be learning is how to make business decisions. Now, oftentimes those business decisions involve money. We want to be able to get the make the most benefit from our money or use the least money, but normally we have to consider money. Now the thing is with money is the value of it changes over time, thanks to inflation, thanks to interest accumulation, these sorts of things. So a dollar today won't be worth a dollar at some point in time in the future. So we need to be able to have the tools to be able to figure out how much a dollar is worth in a certain value of time. Or, or how much a dollar was worth some time ago. So effectively, this is what we talk about as the time value of money. And this course is looking at the time value of money related to business decision making for projects and things that businesses would naturally do. So you're going to learn those basic tools in this course. Now the course is really broken into two parts. The first part, which is pre-midterm, which is really the first half of the course, deals with the theory of the time value of money. So we're going to be looking at some things there like future value, present value, annuities, these sorts of things that relate to various aspects of the time value of money. We're going to have a midterm and in the second part of the course, we're going to look at the application of the time value of money to specific things, such as evaluating projects or making business decisions, these sorts of things. So that's a very small capsule of what we're going to be doing. So what you need to do very first is when you're into this course, you need to be able to go to the course content. So just follow me here. Under course content, you will find on the left hand side going down, you will see all of the components of the course. First, I'd like you to come in to our course information, what I call FM 1140 course information. Now this course information covers a whole bunch of things. Welcome to finance, the slides for it, uh, the textbook, uh, course outline, the syllabus, the peers outline, which is the college's official outline of what we're supposed to be doing, how the course is evaluated, the course schedule. I've put all of these things into what I've created a printable document called the course syllabus. So it's a FN 1140 class syllabus for I'm just going to bring you down through that. That covers all of the issues that are related in that section. First of all, I explain what the finance course is about. And then I have my information. Now that's important because you're going to probably want to get a hold of me to ask questions. That's my job, right? So I encourage you to ask questions. So you'll see there that uh, I'm not on campus this actual term. But my phone number is there, 466-6915. If you leave a message on that, I'll call you back. Uh, you can uh, get a hold of me through email. Or my primary, what I think is best, is the email within the course. So if you go up to um, communication at the top there, you will see email there in the list of that. And you will be able to send me an email. Give me an understanding of what you're doing. Tell me what the course is. Tell me where the problem is, point out a page number, these sorts of things, and I'll get back to you hopefully within the day. And as I say, certainly within two days, but my goal is to get back to you ASAP. Okay. What I'm going to be doing is holding classes in this course. These are going to be online using the virtual classroom. Now, the virtual classroom, where do I find that? Well, if you go up under communication again, you will see virtual classroom right there at the the bottom of the list and, and effectively what that does is it gives us two-way communication between you and me. Now, what am I going to be doing in those classes? Explaining the topics, doing some problems, these sorts of things. But most importantly, you're going to have an opportunity to ask me questions. Now, not all of, all you, all of you are going to be able to make the classes. Well, okay, got you covered there because the classes are going to be recorded. 
and also I have what I call video explainers. That's the term I use. These are short, well, you know, some of them are straight 20 minutes, but effectively how to resolve the problems and I explain the processes and the like, and you watch me actually do it. So you can go and look, if you run into a problem, you can go and look and say, oh, that's, that's how you do it. So my goal is to be able to help you out with those video explainers. So those are all going to be posted as we go through. They're going to be put through sequentially, okay? They're going to be posted, and if you go to the course home, the very first page of the course, when you go into the course, you're going to notice that there's a section called news, and you'll see that I have the introduction in our news right now, which I have a kind of a descriptor of what the course is about and like. As we go along, I'm going to be putting stuff in the news, and that stuff is going to be updated almost every single day, okay? Uh... I'm not emailing you things or anything like that. It's getting put in the news section. So let's be very clear. That's where you're going to find things. You need to go into the course to check the news because I'm going to have information, updates, videos, you name it, whatever I think could be helpful to you in your learning. That's the kind of thing that I'm going to put in the news. So I want you to go into the news and uh, review the material in there on a daily basis. The other thing that I wanted to bring attention to you with regards to this was the specific topics that we're going to be covering. So we're going to be applying the concept of the time value of money. We're going to be looking at such a thing as annuities. Annuities are just a stream of payments. That's all that means. And we're going to look at debt financing investments. We're going to look at um, amortization tables, particularly in the, the second part of the course. Calculations for bonds and sinking funds, which are uh, forms of investment. We're going to be looking at capital budgeting computations. Capital budgeting, it's a fancy word for buying something expensive. Like if you're a town buying a tractor or a business buying a photocopier, you want to think about those things as expensive, long-lived things. And we want to say, you know, should we buy it? Should we not buy it? Should we buy it? Should we lease it? These types of things are really, that's the decision making that comes of those. Uh, business investment opportunities, is this a good investment or not? And finally, foreign currency transactions. That is when you convert Canadian dollars to American dollars or British pounds or the like. So those are the major things that we're going to be looking at. The, um, the textbook for the course is a book by Drome, Ernest Drome, and it's called Business Mathematics in Canada. It's a very good book. They have lots of examples in there. And... Lots of problems, more importantly, lots of problems. We'll be doing a lot of those problems. So make sure, but you got to have the book. You're not going to be able to do well in this course if you don't have the book. This course is all about practice, and you need to look at the problems. You need to have the explanations there. That book is what I'm relying on in order to teach this course, and that book is going to be what you're going to be relying on to learn it. So that book's important, okay? In terms of the evaluation, how is this course going to be measured? Okay, what we have is three assignments. Okay, they're scattered throughout the term, and I've indicated when they are. Okay, we're going to have a midterm exam, and we're going to have a final exam. Now, the way it is, is the midterm and the final are worth 40% each, and the assignments are worth 20%. So, very straightforward. I have also in the syllabus and in the course outlined what we're going to be doing and when. This is not a self-directed course in the sense that you can do whenever you like. I'm going to be going through this sequentially. So if you're a DL or even a classroom student, I'm going to be working through this on that schedule, as close to that schedule as I can, I can get. The exact date of the midterm and the exact date of the final will be determined by DL. So I don't know those yet, but I have indicated to you roundabouts when they are. Okay, that's really a quick summary and, and 10 minute summary of the course. As normal in this course, my job is to help you succeed. Okay, that's what I'm at here. You need to work to help yourself by doing the problems, following along, checking out the videos, all of these sorts of things. When you have questions, you let me know and we'll have a great time in this course. So welcome, thanks for coming. I hope you enjoy it. Get your textbook and let's get started. Thanks.